Oh yes, the van is in the shed. What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today we have the van in the unit because she is getting new wheels today. So I've been rocking these 14s for a while. As you can see, I've blinged them up with some Volkswagen hubcaps. <laughs> but it's getting new wheels today. Now the reason being is that I've been told the bigger diameter of the rim size and the tire size should help with the over revving of the car. Now this, this van has got real short ratio gear. So when you're cruising at 70, you're nearly at like 4,000 RPM. So you can, well, I don't want to be messing around with gearboxes. It is what it is. I just want to try and make it a bit better. So if you look in here, We've got some four spoke or four bolt, I don't know what you call them, Nimrods, I think they're called, back in the Persia days. So these got a 205 40 16. So it should be a massive, well, it's definitely a lot wider than the 14s that we got. I think these are 175 65 14s. What are they? Uh, yeah, 175 65 14s. So. They're a lot narrower. Hopefully these will help. Now I have tried to fit these before and I failed it's because the the two the offset in the rear it basically touches the rear of the the rear of the van. So I've had to go out and buy. <laughs> I've never thought I'd have to buy spacers for a van, but I think these are 10 or 15 mil spacers. And I've checked the clearance; they'll fit with these. And then stupidly, I didn't buy longer wheel bolts because these are the wheel bolts that come with it, with the wheels. These washered ones, quite short. I end up having to buy some longer ones. They're not washered or anything, but uh, well, hopefully they'll fit, we'll find out. So let's get these out. I'm not cleaning them because it's a van. The van's now got roof bars, which is sick. But yeah, so let's get these on and see what it looks like outside. And then more importantly, we can go for a drive and see if the revs have actually come down. I hope they are, because it's really, it does use a lot of fuel having to rev it so high. And I've been like having to find alternative routes so I don't have to go on A, uh, uh, on a roads, because I don't want to like, I sit at like 50 mile an hour <laughs> because it revs the shit out of the van, boy. So I'm gonna crack on and start getting these wheels off, boys. Oh yes boys, look at her now, stylish. Of course, one of the wheels is flat. So, and my little air compressor shut itself, so I'm probably gonna have to change that wheel. Back to the Steely, so I can fill her up with air, which is fantastic. So the whole point of this video was to see if it will help with the revs, and I can't do that. 
because obviously one of the tyres is flat. All of them been fine, but one. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's sheep who are absolutely everywhere from the last video. It's all in my shed now. Fantastic. So I'm going to have to drag the jack out and put a steely back on. Um, the spaces and stuff are all on the back. don't know if you saw that or not. But it um, gives you enough clearance on the back. And the new wheel bolts work fine, so not worried about that. I'm just going to see if any of the lads at the farm have got an air compressor that I can pinch to just pump that tyre up a sec. And then, we should be good to go for a rip. If not, then this video is probably going to be delayed until I can do that. We shall see. But the van's got the roof bars now. The next video on the van is going to need um, addressing the coolant because she's starting to get a bit hot. I think there's a leak in the radiator or something, so for £35, I'm just going to slam a new radiator in it, get a new thermostat, all new coolant because it's just got brown sludgy water in there at the moment. So that'll be coming up in next, what week are we? Next week is the thing. So next, the next video, we'll be doing the coolant stuff on the van. So that'd be sick, because I'm still waiting for the strut bars for the um, E36. The rear one come today, I'm still waiting for the front one. So I think the uh, people, they're born to drift is the company that I bought the uh, strut mounts from, strut bars. So I think on eBay, I bought them on eBay, their website doesn't really work, so waiting on them. I think they've been on holiday, but it is what it is. The rear one comes today, so I'm hoping the front one will come soon. Let's try and find a uh, compressor to pump this tire up. Luckily, my neighbor had a tire inflator. Lucky enough to get my tire inflated, and we are ripping in the van. Now, so far so good. I don't know if you can hear that in the back, but one of the plastic grommet things that hold the wheel arch lining in has fallen off. So that is rubbing on the back, but so far we're at 2,000 RPM and we are doing just under 45 mile an hour. So I don't think it's done fuck all, so that's absolutely fantastic. The ride is a lot firmer. God, it's hot today. It's humid. Handles better. Takes corners a lot better. With that wider tyre. Wait, it doesn't feel too bad. So I'm just trying to think of what we've done. We've gone up two rim sizes. So obviously we were on 14s before. Now we're on 16s. We've gone down in tyre profile from 65 to 50 or 55 so either or is a 15 or a 10 mil difference in sidewall and then we've got width we've gone from a 175 to a 205 so we've definitely got a lot more girth hard to tell hard to tell the only true test is to take it on the a road on a 70 and then see where we are there all set then Ah, edit that in, I was wearing it the whole time. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. <clears throat> Bit of a short one today, but again, we've, I'm trying to make a schedule, I'm trying to get videos out every week. So the next video you see, I'm hoping it will be on the van um, and we'll be doing, like I said, the coolant flush. So we'll be doing a coolant flush. I, I, if I can get a new reservoir bottle, I will potentially a new radiator and thermostat if not it will just be a corn and flush we'll see how funds are doing uh, and I'm hoping that will be within the next well this yeah in the next few weeks I don't know when this video comes out so I'm trying to schedule everything so I've got a video in advance whether or not that lasts we will see but I'm sure we'll think of something and then hopefully after that we'll be doing some E36 stuff but yeah, definitely next video will be a van video. I know people have missed the van, so that'll be in the next video. I'm ranting on because I'm trying to drive, speak at the same time, it's not really working. I'm trying to figure out life at the same time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of the wheels, if you think they suit the van. I know they need a clean. The whole van needs a clean, but it's a van, so go easy.
easy on me. Um, but yeah, thank you also for much for watching. If you want to keep up to date with the builds on the channel, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out and it does show me your appreciation. And it also keeps you up to date with all the builds. So can't go wrong, just hit that button. Notified when I'm posted, because I'll be posted every week. <laughs> Not every four weeks. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers and go on. Bye. And I've been counting days to get away.